What is evil? Evil. Why does God allow it? Yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's the question of questions, you know? If God is so good, why is there so much evil? It really goes to the concept of choice. We've come into this world to make choices. And without evil, there's no such thing as good. So, you know, imagine I have two friends. One is good, was good, and always will be good. Cannot but be good. So he's good. But then I, know I have another friend, and he's challenged, and, you know, and so, so uh, they both see, it says in the Torah and the Bible, that you should be hospitable. So the guy who is good, was good, and always will be good. Of course he'll be hospitable, it's easy. But the guy who's uh, he's not so kind, and he's a bit stingy, and he also doesn't have so many resources. Now imagine if that guy chooses to, to have um, guests over, then what would be considered a greater good? A good of someone who cannot but be good? Or a good that is chosen and that is achieved through struggle and, 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 and challenge? And obviously, I think we all intuit that a good that's born out of struggle and choice is a higher form of goodness. Okay, sure. Well, so that's why this world was created. This world was created to facilitate the expression of the highest form of good. And the highest form of good is a good that's born out of choice, or over challenge, over struggle. So, um, so there is evil in the world. Man has a choice. No one is born evil. Nobody's born evil. But that's the ultimate choice that we've come to this world to make.